options of a brick and mortar store is much easier with local inventory ads. Besides advertising, brands can measure how many online purchases and walk-in visits these ad types generate. In this video, I will explain all the requirements and processes you need to follow to set up your client's Google Local Inventory ads. Before getting started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and activate the notifications button. You don't want to miss out on our content and our experts addressing questions as they come up. So now, let's dive in. Google Ads Requirements to Enable Local Inventory Ads Make sure your clients comply with the following requirements. Own a brick and mortar store that are open to the public. Sell physical goods that do not require additional purchases. Be located in the US, UK, Canada, Brazil, Germany, France, Japan, or Australia. Protecting customers' personally identifiable information and comply with the Google Shopping policies. Set up for Google Ads LIAs. LIAs require a few platforms to be aligned, so double check and ensure your clients are already set with their Google Ads account, Merchant Center, and Google My Business. Once these accounts are set up, you can enable LIAs in your Merchant Center settings. Sign in to Google Merchant Center, click Growth in the navigation menu, select Manage Program, and click on Get Started on the LIA card. Confirm that you comply with all these qualifications and choose the country where your physical stores are located. If you need help setting up your Google Ads Merchant Center, watch our step-by-step -step guide. Before getting started with your client's local ads, you will have to create and review all product feeds, including a primary feed, a local product inventory feed, and a business information feed. It may sound like a lot, but don't worry. I will walk you through each of them in the following minutes. You should note that if it's the first time uploading any of these feeds, you should register them in your Merchant Center. Google can take up to three business days to review your client's items. So now, let's get down to business. So first, we have the primary feed, which is a list of all available products with attributes that describe each of them. This feed type is used for various campaign types. To upload your product list, create either a delimited text or an XML file. The attributes you should include are your product ID, title, description, image link, condition, GTIN, brand, your Google product category, and excluded destination. Second, we have local product inventory feeds. This one will allow you to list all available products at each of the store locations. To upload local inventory feeds, you will need to redo the steps mentioned before, with the only difference that the attributes you need to specify are the store code, product ID, quantity, and price. If your store has promotions or pickup options, you can also include attributes such as sale price, sale price effective date, availability, and pickup method. Note that you should continually update both feeds. Google recommends doing this weekly for primary product feeds and daily for local product inventory feeds. So now it's time to request an inventory verification check. Make sure you have already provided a contact email to receive updates on your verification request. To add a verification contact, click on your local inventory ads in your Merchant Center account's left side menu. Select the country whose contact you will edit, complete the blank fields, and save. For the inventory verification request, click on local inventory ads in the left side menu of the Merchant Center account. Select your client's country's program and click on request verification. Google will take up to seven days to review the feed you submitted to ensure there's not an issue that needs to be addressed. After, they will contact your team via the email you submitted to schedule the verification. As the last step, you can enable local in your shopping campaign. Just go to your Google Ads account, click on the name of your existing shopping campaign, select settings, and right after clicking on additional settings, search for the local product option Check the option Enable Ads for Products Sold in Local Stores and Save. You're all set and ready to display local ads to prospects using Google Search, Google Image, and the Google Assistant. Takeaways Managing and optimizing local inventory ads is time consuming. If your marketing agency lacks the time or resources to fulfill them, you can always consider a white label partner to manage your client portfolio. At the same time, you focus on client communication and growth for your agency. So if you want to learn more about our White Label PPC Partner Program, our PPC Sales Enablement Tools, or have any questions regarding what I went over, 
leave your comments below, visit our website, or contact us. All of the necessary information is in the video description.